Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 4 of my Kerbal Space Program Let's Play Modded series. And today we are continuing getting the Comsat network set up around Kerbane. Um, Got a pretty much time lapse most of this episode as it's just launching, maneuvering, heading home. So here we are back at the old KSC, looking at money, making sure everything's okay. So we've got the tracking station. See the comms out what is there. The KSC is there. Just loaded up the same vehicle as what I used last time. Oh, and one thing I was able to get in between episodes was research the science for the basic mech jab. It's not a huge amount of use right now. As it only has the smart, smart ass, which basically does the same as some of the flight computer controls. So here we go, time lapse in that. Yeah, see, so yeah, I was looking for flight guidance, ascent guidance stuff, but maneuver planner and everything, nothing's really in there yet until you get up to the next level. we go. Gravity turn done, just getting up to a reasonable apoapsis. I do like being able to double up the speed of these videos because there's so much grind involved when you play the full career mode of KSP. Circularize in orbit. This time I'm probably going to use. Uh, all of my first stage, second stage uh, fuel. I have to go into the terrier. Separation, second stage. third stage, whatever you want to call it. So just getting 
orbits matched, starting with the plane. You can see Valentine, the star, the mini star that's orbiting our solar system there in the background. Quick, easy burn to match planes with the target. I have to bear in mind, as I've still got Jeb on board at this point, I don't have to wait for a signal. And it's the reason I'm sending out a pilot with these first few uh, probes, just so that I can do the maneuvers, even when I'm not in signal range of the KSC. Approaching the maneuver, here we go. So that's reasonably close. Damn. I do have a maneuver node at the apparatus to get the periapsis out. the node and wait for it to get around and then delete the Kerbal alarm clock Yep, and that's pretty close. So then I eject the actual commsat itself, which, as always, screws up its orbit completely. Let's get rid of the... So, got to get Valentina back home. Uh, sorry, it's Jebediah on this one, again. And as you can see, the orbit for the comm side is actually completely screwed up. Just deactivating the antenna because you can do this manually. I'm actually using Smart Ass now rather than the flight computer. As you can see, it's set to orbital retrograde as well. Power's holding steady, in fact, it's even climbing. So I decided to speed things up. 
save. <laughs> background to retrograde it won't point whilst you're in time warp Just getting to the edge of the atmosphere now. I'll be hitting that burn shortly. And there we go. Let's burn off the last of the fuel. And this time, unfortunately, it looks like I'm coming down in the highlands, which is not good as we're going to see. skipping through the atmosphere but like I said you can see that it's highlands below and that is not good for landers quick crew report Parachutes are up, coming down, but even though they open fully, it's not going to help. What I should have done here maybe was point surface up, and maybe uh, MechJet would have saved me here. fine but we are sliding and rolling and once it picks up enough speed the science junior and the heat shield go back fortunately Jeb survives and the command pod and the crew report I took which is all good <clears throat> just means we lost a bit more money than what we would have normally expected to so we now have enough science to finish this level of the tech tree and its general construction gives us a bunch of uh, quad tri couplers, different uh, decouplers. You know, it gives us a few more of the universal storage for science experiments. I want a few more before I really start thinking about using that, but it does come in handy in a bit. Yeah, and this is the route we want to get down for the. Um, for more efficiency with our rockets. Yeah, it'd be a bit more expensive, but we'll be making more money from the contracts that we get, so. Just tip for top. Yep, command pods are gonna be big. <clears throat> yep, 
space exploration. But anyway, I decided, right, let's get this satellite back into a reasonable limit. So that's, yeah, that's one, Comsat 1, this is what's going to be Comsat 2. And now, obviously, with this orbit being a lot bigger than what was planned, we're going to have to rethink. Maybe this won't be Comsat 2, it would be Comsat 3 if you did it sequentially in a clockwise direction. Because it's going to be about pretty much on the other side of the planet by the time the orbits match up. Like that. So now we add the manoeuvre and we could just circularise here. I don't know why I reduce it. But I think it was because I wanted to run a little bit faster. So I could catch up because I'm a bit behind halfway around the planet. So I just separated the stage off first because my engine wasn't activated for the actual comsat. Good thing is right now we have signal to the KSC to complete this manoeuvre. Everything looks right, and then go ahead, point to node and execute. Did try to do it through uh, smart assist there. So I'll get signal to the KC there so the flight computer actually works. Goodbye to the alarm clock. Burned to equalize the orbit. And we are pretty much still on the same plane here. It just because I was pointing. Uh, well, the satellite itself was pointing prograde when it the decoupler fired, so it didn't lose any angle of plane with regards to Comsat 1, but it did just add a parapsis. There's a bit of manual adding to get the orbital period pretty much the same. I think I was going for a bit, my orbital period to be a bit less here so that it could catch it up in the clockwise direction and I let it run for a few, a few days I think, just to move slightly ahead. And then I do get bored of waiting and I just leave it where it is, I think, do I? No, I bring it closer. Because the thing is, as long as all four satellites are connected and then you have the exact same orbital period on all of them, then it doesn't really matter if they're perfectly spaced around the planet. So that was close enough as far as I was concerned. I was just accelerating out to the node. Gonna burn. <clears throat> so I figured that's good enough for now, and if we do need to make any fine tweaks, we can do it later. So I decide this is going to be Comsat 3, as it's the one on the opposite side of the planet-ish. <coughs> and it's time to get our third satellite up. 
So I do make some tweaks to the ship again, as always, before I launch this one. So I decided to put four parachutes on it just to make sure that that is coming down slow enough in the future. And then just make that four solar panels around there like that. The only other thing I change is it's time to get Valentina her first mission and get to level one. Third satellite of the four satellite system. Thanks as always to Approaching Nirvana for giving people permission to use their music on YouTube videos. A bunch of awesome guys. If you want a link to any of their downloads, it's in the description of the video. So that's all the antennas done, we've done the crew reports, we're doing the materials bay, science, all for science. So the panels are out, antennas are out, burning to circular eyes. fine tune with the plane so that they're all on the same plane weird end to that track <laughs> so there we go we're now on the same orbital plane as the other two pretty much
Hmm. So, going out to Apoapsis. By the time this third satellite's in orbit, it should be a lot easier to do unmanned stuff. But yeah, once all four are in place, then everything gets a lot easier. So we can see went past my point that I wanted to actually do a burn. So then we're gonna circularize the orbit, still not using the circularize button. Go, burn started for the circularization. There's the probe. So we're going to go retrograde. I'm going to bring that orbit back down once we stage. There it goes. Stage. We're pointing retrograde, and down comes the orbit. Valentina there in the background. So that's good enough for now as far as I was concerned and I was worried about the fact that I have no extra life support. Only what's in the capsule on this ship so it was time to get Valentina home. So we're burning retrograde, bring the periapsis down into the atmosphere as per usual. Track the antenna as per, save as much as possible. Time to just come down into the atmosphere, or to the edge of it anyway.
burning off the last of the fuel. There's not much of it this time. There we go, eject the stage. And this time it looks like we're going to have a splashdown. Which is always better. So Valentina won't die on our first mission. It's always a bonus. Skipping through the atmosphere. Just see a moon rise in the distance. Let's just check my power there, make sure I've got enough for the parachutes. now. And that's through the worst of the atmosphere, get ready to fire the chutes. There we go. What I finally learned to do this time is once the chutes fire. So I'm a bit off balance still. And at the last minute I remember surface up and it points the nose straight up and then I recover and that is where I left it for this episode so I can do the fine tuning in the next episode of them three satellites and get the final one up but that is it for this episode thank you very much for watching uh, see you again next time for episode 5 bye